We have just arrived in Egypt, so now we're trying to find our uh, like bus that's gonna take us to the hotel. It was very quick, the process was very fast, people are very efficient here, so let's go. Good morning from Egypt, Hargada, Egypt. Uh, just woke up, this is like I think 9 a.m. I'm gonna go out to have breakfast, and I guess I'm gonna give you guys a room tour when we're back. I don't know, just last night we reached and just crashed because we got here like at 1 a.m. We reached the airport at like 11 p.m. you know the transit and whatnot so yeah, let's go have breakfast now we'll see you guys there this is the breakfast I got an egg and then my husband got that so I think this should be enough to eat and that will be it okay so this is our bed it's very big yeah. Like even three people can fit here yeah, without any yeah. issues. So next to the bed, we have uh, the small stool with phone and AC uh, controller. Here's the AC remote. Okay, and this side another one. And here is the balcony. I didn't open it, but this is the view. Here is the view of the garden. I can't believe it. All the way there is just pure desert or past those trees there. Here we go. Big wardrobe, very a lot of space with the safe inside and here's, this is the hanging area here okay this is the TV with the fridge here in the fridge we have nothing but we are stocked with fresh bottle of water every day or more if we ask for This is big mirror here and uh, door to another apartment which is locked cannot be opened and uh, here is the bathroom pretty decent normal small size shower ideal, ideal for one person there is this is also stuck with uh, shampoo or gel shower gel and this one uh, here with the uh, uh, soap this one is also working you just need to plug it in and that's about it the only thing that's not that great is the tooth toothpaste is not really coming with it and of course there is toilet paper here after that, we went to relax at the pool. The water is actually really warm, so you don't have to worry about that. Now we're basically just goofing around and enjoying the beauty of having a tall husband who gets to carry around in the pool. <laughs> The kitchen, we are now off to Hargada city. So let's see, I'm gonna show you some views. So, this is basically the desert. I just feel like somebody brought some block of sand That's here, it. but.
after visiting the church of Saint Nicholas, we went to visit the mosque. So we are now currently at the mosque. So this is in Haragata. As you can see, the mosque is big. You need to pay like about one dollar if you want to go inside. But also in here, it's free of charge. So so far, like it's pretty hot, but come with a van and it's good. Woo. After the city mosque, we went to visit the city fish market, which is really close to the mosque. It was really nice to see the different types of seafood, the one I kept on being surprised throughout the video. I was seeing this like in real life, I usually only see this in TV. It was very nice to see and everything was fresh. <laughs> nice! Is it okay to that? Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's blue fish. Oh, wow. See the big red one. Yeah. It was saying in a bunch And prunes. And what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was saying in a bunch of down there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's Say hi um, for YouTube. It looks so. Take your one and make a picture for you. A picture? Yeah, you take a picture. <laughs> you want a finger like this? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. What? What? I say, the life is short. One day is good, one day is bad. One day is for you, one day is against you. Ah. If you have a relation with Allah, it's a bad day, it's Alhamdulillah. It's a good day, it's also Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Life like this, huh? Yes, Allah. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a lie. It's a guy. Yes. Where are you from? From Germany. Serbia. Serbia. Yes. After the fish market, we went to visit perfumes and organic products factory. 25,000 euros, 100 square meter. <laughs> So this is another store we're in, we go with spices, the steaks, hibiscus, so many types of stuff. So if you want to... After dinner we went to the sister hotel and walked on the promenade, so basically just sitting around. There's a couple of things you can see here, there's a few stores around and also a couple of restaurants. There's Italian restaurant, Chinese restaurant, Indian, you can also get shawarma. Good morning. So today we are off to quad bike. So here is safari. Quad bike safari actually, yes. So let's go, I'm excited. Oh, I'm gonna be driven all on the quad anyway. So let's see how it goes and we're gonna be in the desert for a long time. You're gonna be the one Okay, so when we arrived, we were being prepared to go into the desert. We had to cover our faces completely because of the sand. Well, we drive. Hmm. Can you pay? Do you have sunglasses? Here now at the place we are waiting. We should be going soon, right? And there's quite a number of people here, so some people there. Uh, number of people waiting. I like the vibe. It's really setting the tone, you know, like you're here for the quad. Very nice. So let's see. So here are the spider thing. What do you call the baguette? Buggies. A number of them. So mm -hmm. this one, the 
red one. Very well equipped, you see, to a driver and passenger. So, I'll be going in soon. Let's see. See it from the other side. From here, let's see. You wanna drive? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the passenger. After the short break, we continued on to the Bedouin village where the camels were, we had tea and so forth. The scarf and glasses really helps with the sand and it was really nice that we did have a lot of people in front of us so hence we didn't have a lot of sand going our way. After the short tea break, we went to see how Bedouins make bread. So guys, we can watch here how the Bedouin cats are looking at us. And here the woman is cooking and also doing the bread. About the Bedouin here, they are like to eat the bread fresh for that. They are doing the bread fresh for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. To eat it fresh. And they are also used to make the bread from flour, water, salt. Then mix all this together. Then she with the stick here in the table to making very soft. That's not taking time in a fire. Maximum one minute, you're getting fresh bread with have a good taste. Only the difficult for the family is that they are living far away from the city. They have no electric, no gasoline. Also, especially here in Hurghada, no rain for last 10, 12 years. I'm sorry for the rest. And that means not enough that tree outside to cut the wood to make the fire in. Then they are used here from normal light, the camel shit or camel chocolates to make the fire end and that's not test not smell anything inside the food uh, after it get dry like three four days it get back as a plant again and also it's not expensive for them that's to bring gasoline or uh, electric to here we can try a bit mm -hmm. Mm. so we have the first one Really nice. Very soft, very nice. That's chapati. Interesting. It's a different taste, huh? But very filling if you eat a lot of her. After the bread, we went to ride the camels. I was so excited for this part. Hello, you Hello. Hello. Where are we? Okay. On the camel. Camel Sahara. Uh. So just finished the camera ride, we are just chilling, I think waiting to be picked up and then So this is the area, we have some bathrooms over there And a castle over there, and a castle over there. Some tower over there, over there like And some tower right at the top there We didn't want to go there because it's kind of hot But overall this is the area so we are now heading back. This is the area. There's so many other people here. So many quad bikes. So many quad bikes. The camels are right behind the, the village here. Behind us with this fortification up there. 
Let's see. Nice. And we are with the buggy. The only ones with the buggy. VIP. Big shout out to our guide he was really the best does the best videos too so after this the next day we went to the beach so we are currently at the beach so our hotel chateau brings us all the way there and then you just walk in so this is our section our lemon and soul section so um if you wanna have the front row seats come early so we found our spot here and there's the beautiful sea so we're gonna go see and there's a bar there if you need some drinks i think that's part of the all-inclusive if i'm not mistaken there's different um bars listed that are all-inclusive and some that you need to pay so let's go so this is the big the water is very blue Yes, and it seems pretty shallow and I see um, the rift, like how far you can go, ends up to there. It's not so far, like there. I don't know, maybe because of sharks, I guess. So you just have to kind of go up to there. Um, it seems mostly walkable. And for me, I would recommend you carrying something like this if you're not so comfortable swimming like he's wearing. Something like this, if you feel uncomfortable with the rocks and stuff like that. I have mine too. So we'll wear that later. So, ah, yeah. so we'll see, enjoy, and catch you guys later. Here we can see the Makadi Bay. There's lots of people around, some small ships. And generally the sea coast with different hotels very beautiful So today is our last day here. We are currently waiting to do some uh, parasailing. So this is a place where you come and um, pay. So I'm excited but nervous because it goes pretty high and I don't know if I'm ready for that. But like they said, if it's too high or if you don't like it, you just do this and then bring it down. You like it. Like that. So we'll see. So we're currently at the beach. One thing about Egypt it's hot so if you're not in the ac you are really gonna but see this is the beach area so the there is a sitting area in the sea 
so just wait we should be going in like five minutes or so so i'll catch you guys later so we are now on the here we are hi baby are you ready So this is how it looks like when it's about to start. This is us mid-air. When it started off, I was a bit scared, but when we were mid-air, it was actually nice. And then I felt a bit nauseous, I think because I was nervous. You but fly. It's, it's a real experience. After a few minutes of flying, they decided to dip us in the sea a bit to have fun with us and the salt water, yo. Us after the bar sailing, oh my gosh, we are wet. We are wet. There yeah. was some bath in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but Crazy. Good and this is how everything looked from distance from the beach. Officially back in Serbia, the airport was just like right over there. So there. So I'm um, now going home, and I guess I'll see you guys later. So,